What is so urgent that you summon me in the middle of the night? These were posted just 12 hours ago. And why should I care about American fugitives? Because one of them is Lieutenant Shana Ohara, Army Intelligence, a former student of Snake Eyes. Which is why I took an even closer look. Are you trying to get us caught, Kibby? Fine. Breaker. Whatever. We're not your anti-Cobra poster boys. Take those photos down from your site, or the next post will be your obituary. Easy, man. The dude's on our team. Besides, our faces already made the 6 o'clock news. Well, most of our faces. Ah! Hey, hey! Here's an idea. Why don't we drive someplace with actual roads? Where are we going, anyway? He hasn't told me. Well, he's gonna tell me. After all we've been through, why won't you trust Snake Eyes? Uh, newsflash, he's a ninja. By definition, that makes him a spy, a saboteur, and an assassin. What? Look it up. I defy you to name one thing Snake Eyes has done to you or this team to make you doubt his loyalty. I think we hurt his feelings, Duke. Why? <laughs> Snake eyes. What did that dude do to us? Uh, Questions later. Secure the area. Now! Perimeter's clear, which is more than I can say for my head. Oh. So, what is this place? What else? The ninja's snake pit. I think it's his dojo. This is a huge honor, Grunts. Since when is getting gassed a huge honor? Snake Eyes has to keep his dojo's location secret, even from us. A little grub in the cupboards would go a long way towards smoothing my feathers. How about a little aspirin in the medicine cabinet? Ah. Snake Eyes? He's breathing. Pulse is good, no broken bones. <clears throat> I thought you cleared the interior. I did. Surround the perimeter. Move in on my signal. Gas bomb wasn't enough, huh? You had to send us a wake-up call from Samurai Susie? That would be Ninja Nancy. Apparently, she's a student of Snake Eyes. So what was your first clue? When I called him Sensei? And it's Jinx. Shana. How do you know my name? I know all about Sensei's other pupils. Snake Eyes never told me about you. He never tells anyone about anything. I find my own answers. Then answer me this. Why would you attack a fellow apprentice? You want to go another round, Red? <sighs> now 
Give me Sensei. It's just... I knew she'd be trouble. Okay. Enough of this class reunion. I want to know why you brought us here, ninja. Only one reason Sensei brings anyone to his dojo. To train them. For what? There's a storm coming. You need to be prepared. When do we start? You seriously want to stay at Camp Ninjitsu? My sensei is demonstrating that ninjas speak with motion. Actually, he's asking us to find our voices through our training by watching and doing. Well, maybe he's just telling us to get up and dance. <laughs> What's important here is there are many levels of achievement. But Sensei wants us to focus on three. Four. One, strength of body. Two, harmony with nature. Three, focus of energy. Whoa! Four, anticipation of danger. Time out! Time out! <laughs> You're hopeless. Why did you even agree to this? Because you know Snake Eyes, and I'm looking for... Insight. And you're willing to get the snot kicked out of you to find it? Yeah, you know, you're right. I should just ask Scarlet. Seriously? I've known Sensei since he was a teenager. And you were what? Four? Eight? I was with my cousin, Tomi Saburo, in the marketplace. Father would never let me go alone. I soon discovered why. I just never thought it would become part of my daily life. Father was grateful to the stranger who saved his purincesu, his princess. But Tomi Saburo was shamed for needing help from an outsider, a gaijin. My father took in the stranger, trained him, welcomed him like a son into the house of Arashikage. A new life requires a new name. Since you possess the steely gaze of a serpent, we shall call you Ebinome Snake Eyes. Thank you, Sensei. want to know the punishment for touching that. What's so special about a sword? The blade of Urashikage. 
over a thousand years old, passed down from one master to another. It's what unites our clan. So your cousin accepted Snake Eyes too? Like a brother. What'd you do that for? My sensei wants you trained. And since you'll never survive a fight at close range, the Kyoketsu Shogei will give you the advantage of attacking from a distance. This is how a soldier attacks from a distance. So, Duke putting that famous ninja patience to the test? What are we now? BFFs? I'd settle for a truce. You know, you're not like his other students. I've seen how he treats you. How he cares. Nah, I'm just high maintenance, that's all. Scarlet! Speaking of which... of danger. See? I have been paying attention. This is Sensei's private quarters. You don't belong here. Neither do you. What were you looking for? Or should I ask Snake Eyes? What exactly do you want? I want to know who I'm dealing with. Why'd you two leave your happy little home? Daddy throw you out? Complicated. I got time. <sighs> Remember when I said Snake Eyes and Tomi Saburo were like brothers? Think Cain and Abel. Both were vying to be top student, trying to impress Hard Master. But my cousin wanted more. He wanted to become Hard Master. Tomi Saburo saw himself as the perfect embodiment of the clan and demanded everyone call him Arashikage, the Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow, what are you doing? Relax, it's going to be mine someday. I'm just taking it for a little test drive. Put it away, you dishonor your uncle. A true Arashikage doesn't care about honor. We command respect through power. Fear maybe, but not respect. It's father, hide! Snake Eyes. Who put you up to this? No one, Sensei. I acted alone. You are either extremely loyal or extremely foolish. Remove your shirt. Not one word. My father couldn't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to protect someone who'd never do the same in return. No! In that moment, my father also realized he didn't want to raise his daughter to be a criminal. After that, my father tried to steer the Arashikage toward a moral path which wasn't exactly a popular decision among the rest of the clan, especially Storm Shadow. And one night, my father paid the ultimate price for swimming against the tide. Help him! No! 
Snake Eyes couldn't tell me why he was taking me away. His throat had been punctured, and he never said another word. I believe he was trying to protect me from my father's enemies. You mean Storm Shadow? Snake Eyes would never confirm it, but I know my cousin was the assassin. Snake Eyes brought me here and started to train me. I began calling myself Jinx. Since I seem to bring only bad luck to those around me. What? Sensei, forgive me. Hey, kid got a tattoo, so what? to go. I had to know the truth, and you wouldn't tell me. I told them you were dead, so they'd stop searching for you. If you're telling the truth, cousin, then where is the blade of Arashikage? How should I know? It's been missing since the night you and Snake Eyes fled. To prove my allegiance, I had to take the mark of the Arashikage. Storm Shadow wanted the clan to see that he was supported by the heir to the Hard Master. But when they found your photo on that website, Storm Shadow knew I had lied. I escaped. Sensei? I don't understand. Why send me away? The Rashikage will never find us here. Yes, they will. Storm Shadow let you escape, so you could lead him right to this location. What's going on? Jinx is leaving. Take her down the mountain, now. How come? Who cares? Let's go already. These wide open spaces are giving me hives. You don't have to face Storm Shadow alone. Few lines been cut. He's here. Our weapons are inside. Will you tell me what all of this is about? Who is Storm Shadow? <laughs> Guys? for a reason, cousin. So you can silence me too? <laughs> Foolish child. I am here to avenge your father. I was there. Assassin. Prove it. The blade of Arashikage. Why? He stole it to shame me, to taint my leadership of the clan. Sensei? The darts only weaken them. This will finish the job. Come, now. No! That was not a request. <laughs> 